Greetings Multiverse! As we wait patiently for the Game Awards and the desperate hope that Gotham Knights will be there with a release date trailer, other little leaks are coming in that point to exciting developments and story points about the game, including potential new factions and villains. But we have now received a leak from an unexpected official source that strongly points towards an appearance by the biggest villain of them all. None other than the Joker. Considering Gotham Knights is out next year, supposedly, it's shocking how little information we actually have on the game, especially regarding the villains. We've seen Mr. Freeze, the Court of Owls, the Penguin, a tease of Two-Face that never led to anything, and a hint of anarchy, but otherwise that's it. With an open world Gotham City, four members of the Bat family to play, and a big cooperative campaign, there has to be a lot more villains to face than that. But the one everyone's wondering about is the status of the Joker. Gotham Knights isn't a sequel to the Batman Arkham series, so Joker could very well be alive, despite the supposed death of Batman. Joker's been mentioned in several slightly iffy leaks from the game, but we now finally have our first official clue that Joker could indeed feature in Gotham Knights. And that actually comes via the reveal of the licensed McFarlane Toys action figures for the game. We found a reveal of the couple of the toys previously, but now the full pages for the action figures of all four main Gotham Knights Bat family members are available to view online, including the key part here, their backing artwork. Red Hood and Nightwing have the same boring view of the Belfry, and Robin seems to be lost in the Matrix, but Batgirl has something major of interest. Yes, she does kind of look like she's trying to escape from the Death Star, but just below her is some green graffiti, clearly showing laughter. This haha -ha graffiti can only be by the Joker. It's his calling card pretty much. And this is the first indication, if not outright confirmation, that the Joker will definitely be in Gotham Knights. Given that Red Hood and Nightwing's backgrounds are one of the earliest screenshots of Gotham Knights, it seems likely that Batgirls is either based on artwork or a screenshot directly from the game. McFarlane Toys may not even be aware that they potentially dropped a big spoiler. And in fact, if Gotham Knights is at the Game Awards with a release date trailer, then it could conceivably also tease the Joker. As per everything with Gotham Knights, we'll just have to wait and see, but it seems to me, like McFarlane Toys has accidentally revealed that the Joker will be in the game. You know, like exactly how McFarlane accidentally revealed Nightwing's figure earlier this year. But what do you guys think? Are you excited to see the Joker in Gotham Knights? Or do you honestly wish they left him out of it? Let us know in either the comments below or on the Inside the Multiverse Discord server, which you'll find a link to in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe, that all really helps me out. And check out both the Inside the Multiverse DC podcast and other videos on DC Comics Gamer, such as the possibility that Batman may be actually alive in Gotham Knights. For now though, thanks for watching folks, and Multiverse out.